I can't do it with my other hand. I just find it interesting. <coughs> hey YouTube, we are today doing a one light setup that is, well Peter is using an expensive light, an expensive camera. The actual... The thingy. <laughs> The te Beck technicalities. The thingy just, is next to that thingy, which is operating that thingy. It's just a bunch of white foam boards, so that's super inexpensive and this could easily be set up in anyone's garage. You may struggle with a house because of ceilings, but houses have white ceilings, so you don't need the foam board. Well, it can be though. Yeah. It can be. Um, and it's mainly because we get lots of people who say they want to have setups in that that they can do. They don't have to have an expensive um, studio, yeah. whereas we've just, it doesn't have to be foam cores, any white boards that you can build into a large area. Um, yes, it is an expensive light, but that's not, if you had a cheap light that's got the power, that's still going to do the same thing. Yeah. And the height of these foam boards is about 2.4 metres, so it's about a normal ceiling height, I think, in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, so the whiteboard sticking at the top would just be your ceiling, or in a garage where you might have a bit more room, you might be able to tilt a little bit or put something up there. Um, and then the wall that's behind the model can be anything. It's whatever, anything could be whatever a paper you backdrop. wanted. Yeah, and it could even be out through the garage door into the street. That's so you don't have to have heaps of room. There's maybe a meter behind me. Mm -hmm. So four meters is you can do this in a four meter room as long as you can control the bounce around the model. But we're going to show some of my setup and a little bit of some of my thinking. Uh, Peter tweaking and. Twerking. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Save that for another channel. No, Peter twerking and Beck twerking. <laughs> um, so with today's video, it's going to be covering a lot of things. So this has been brought about Anna's in for today and she has this dress that she's going to wear. I looked at a shot that I found that I like similar, which was this shot. I know it looks nothing like the dress, but I like the feel of this. I'm still not sure about the dress. I'm going to take a few shots and we'll make up our mind during the shoot. But this was just, to me, that's just like window light. It's a very big light source and we've done so much window light and it's so easy. So what I wanted to try and do is create something that is large source that's cheap, not expensive to do. I know I'm using an expensive brand of light, but I could be using Godox and do the same thing or Ellen Crom or any of those. So with this, what I've, I've done is got a bare bulb sitting in here. We've got white top white on the side and on the back. So these are just all foam boards. You could use white painted boards, anything you like, but I can then vary the size of this soft box to whatever I like. Uh, I haven't decided exactly what, I might put a reflector on this. I might do something, but at the moment I've just got a straight bare bulb. I'm running at about three meters from the camera to the model. Um, and that was just based on what lens I was going to use. So I wanted it as close as possible, but I still wanted to shoot round about an 80 mil lens on the Hasselblad. So round about a say a 60, 65 on a DSLR. I haven't taken a shot as yet. So this will be the very first frame. And cool. And I've got my standard settings on the camera. So it's F8, 160th of a second. Uh, 100 ISO and I seriously had not taken a frame. See frame one's come up and that's kind of fluked it. Um, I fluked it but I haven't. The one thing difference in this shot is that white seems a lot whiter but the catch light in the light of the other shot was much bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play for a little bit and my gut feeling is I want to get some more bounce off the white on top. So I've moved the flash up closer to the top. I'll set it up and I'll see what I get. I need that light. Don't fall. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm opening up these boards, which should spread the light wider. It will take power off the light. I'm just going to bring this light back a little bit more. 
is I'm going to take it another step wider on both sides. And this is, again, I've said this before, it's not something I can teach, it's called playing. And the more you play, the more you'll learn how to solve problems. So the light power to come down, this is coming right out to the edges of her eyes now. I'm much happier with that compared to, if I go back to my first shot, you'll see that they're tiny little dots in her eyes. Now I've got that opened up a lot more. So this is more to where I'm liking it. I'm just, all I'm looking at now is one other little thing. See how dark it is under her chin? See how that's gone now. So I think I'm liking that too. Sometimes I want to get that cut, but for this, I don't think I want that cut. I'm just going to keep changing little things at a time. And I'm pretty much just looking what I have to what I had the shot before. So I decided I like that one better, so that's why I put the whiteboard in there. Now I'm liking that better now compared to how we had it before. And the main reason, it's just put way too much light on her chest area. Whereas you come down here, that you'll see that light's come off her chest area. And I think it was that bounce of the light up higher was bringing that in. I thought, originally thought it was the bottom board bringing that in. So I've got my exposure right. I'm happy with my lighting. Don't know if I'm happy with what she's wearing. All right, so what we might do is just change the styling a little bit and uh, take it to the next notch. So I was unhappy with the styling, so I went over through to our wardrobe. Next sort of look I went for is a shirt. So I just was looking at the white and looking at the red striped. And the red striped just felt a bit like pajamas to me, especially when I went to black and white. So we've styled her now in the white shirt. Um, I'll shoot my first frame with her wearing it now. And then I'm just going to decide what I need to adjust and what I don't. Cool. The only problem with the white is the white's going, going to go off. Uh, the white is sitting at 246, 247. So I've got heaps of detail. I'm way off 255. So I can just live with that. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a shot and then fine tune the lighting for I do. I do want Anna to work against that wall a little bit. Now you can be on the, on the wall or off a tiniest bit. The lighting's not really going to change much. Now, one of the things I did ask Anna to button this uneven, which was going to give us this gapiness, which I wanted. I know it's an oversized, but that's the look I wanted was the oversized shirt look. I think I'm pretty happy. Uh, I'm going to jump into my black and white. I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow fill and a little bit of clarity, a tiniest bit about the amount that I could put easily in. Just go, what I'm going to do, because the white's the problem, what I can do is play around with the mids and leave the whites where they are. So what, if I bring the mids up, we should see, see how the brightest white is really not going any brighter. So I can bring my mids up a bit now to lighten up Anna. I might get rid of the contrast. And I can bring my blacks to then got, throw my contrast in this way. So I'm more changing the contrast in my mids to my blacks and taking the contrast off the white. It's feeling slightly under, a little bit under just on her face a bit, but that's something I might just do in Photoshop because I don't want to bring the white shirt up any brighter than that. So that now that I've got my setup, remember whatever you do with your feet, your legs, everything comes into your face and finishes the picture. I'm just going to let you run for a little bit, cool, doing what you want, but make it that feel, make sure the eyes, uh, Cool, cool. Keep it drifting. Don't wait for me. We haven't shot for about two weeks, so she's just getting back into, right? Rusty. Rusty. Nice. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. Work that look. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Cool. That's nice. I like that. There. Cool. That's beautiful. Beautiful. But you're happy with the look? Yeah. You're happy with the styling? Yeah. Um, I was just thinking if the Chanel belt would look good around that rather than buttoned. Oh, sorry, Gucci. So we just changed the styling a little bit more. I like this look, but I wanted to 
get a little bit of Anna's shape into it. So I've put a belt around her rather than just have it hang loose and just see how that comes up. Uh, it's basically to make a white shirt a little bit more like a fashion statement rather than um, wearing boyfriend shirt. Look, cool, cool. That's nice, that's really cool, cool, beautiful. Get away from your e-commerce. That is e-commerce. That, that's all e-commerce. I don't want that because that way we only get, we don't get, oh, that's quite pretty in the face. All right, keep that face. <laughs> Just to keep the constant movement, but I need feel. There has to be that feel, has to be something more than just a stare, has to be, I kill you, or, oh, I like you, or it has to have something about it. Cool, cool, that's really pretty. Cool, that's really pretty. Cool, cool, cool. You on toes? Nice, nice, nice. Powerful, but beautiful. Yeah, kill with those eyes, kill. That's perfect, perfect. Nice, that's really pretty. That's really cool. I'm gonna just try one more thing. When she's moving, I'm liking that bit of hair movement. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, because my assistant is busy holding a camera, um, I wanna get some movement in Anna's hair, but I don't like using fans as much, and I don't want her shaking her head around crazy. So I've set a dot on the ground, I'm setting up my, focus so she's not allowed to now go forward or back i'm just going to double check that cool i've got a pocket wizard wide up to my camera so i can take pictures double check that i'm in focus because i'm not going to be near my camera yet it's perfect so now that i've got that i've got this to take pictures and cool I don't want as much as that as too uh, 80s rock star I want she loves her 80s rock star I just want a little bit of movement well, that's quite nice there yeah that's too much it's, I want to try and keep it so it's just a little subtle movement it's not wind blowing her hair like crazy so what i found is just the slower i go i'll get much more the look i want which is just the hair moving a little bit the hair not moving heaps so i just might come in here so i can do this cool that downwards you'll see as the down comes see how it drags that hair around underneath so there's different directions will give you different hair. Work those eyes. Really work those eyes, cool. It is a bit hit or miss because I'm so, that's a bit nice. But she came up on toes, that's why. That's cool. We have actually, we have got some shots. It's a bit nice, girl. We'll just do a couple more, keep that feeling. So those pictures you really liked? Yeah. Yeah, channel that feeling. Looking at the heater won't get the feeling. <laughs> right, channel it. Yeah, cool. Work those eyes. Every picture. Drag them onto your eyes, off your body. You can move that bit of hair on your face if you find that uncomfortable. I don't know, sometimes I find it a really fun way of shooting um, because now I'm not looking down the lens, I'm just looking at what the hair's doing, what the shapes are doing. Cool, and we'll finish it on a fully glam oh, she's gonna love that oh, i should never no yuck <laughs> oh <my laughs> so god, beyonce so cool. wow. oh my god so anna's gone crazy at the most glammy shot of the whole lot well oh, she likes that too so i could live with the hair there I'd, yeah i like these i'll i'll do a retouch where she can have one like that yeah. bam 
all right, the light is expensive, the camera expensive, that that is not what's doing this picture. We just built a very large size controllable light by just having foam walls, you can be anything you like as long as it's white and throwing a bare bulb in there and playing around with what you've made white off the bulb to work out your lighting on the model. This setup could just fit into most garages without a problem. It's maybe a fraction too high for a house, but one of the bonuses with a house, you've got a white roof. So you can be just building some walls and having it bounce up into that corner and give you this beautiful, it's flat, but there's still some depth into it. A uh, piece of black paper behind her or whatever color paper you like. Well, I don't want to say I hope you enjoyed that because I say that every time. I oh, do? Yeah. So if you hated this, <laughs> you might like the next video better. <laughs> How's that one? So if you guys enjoyed this, I'll throw up another video now and you guys can keep watching. Mm -hmm.